Looks like Valen sent her entire fleet. Where's the gravestone? Odessen, I need a status report. Now! Valen caught us in dry dock. Just installed the last of those new upgrades. Need a few minutes to recalibrate our systems. Ground forces are holding the line until the gravestone's up. But we're outnumbered and outgunned. A full-scale invasion is a desperate move. But if it works, she can wipe out the Alliance in one fell swoop. Unless we beat her. You and Lana can lead the charge. I'll do more damage if I slip behind enemy lines. I specifically ordered this battle to end quickly. The Alliance is showing unexpected resistance. We still have the advantage, but the price of victory will be high. Then pay it! Arkan is here. Mother, father, the Outlander. I will paint Odessen with their blood. Status update. Mando reinforcements heading Baywan's way. Baywan's forces were protecting the ship. What happened? They're still holding, but they need all the help they can get. My students and I sought to defend the gravestone. Enemy artillery slowed our progress. I got this. Ogarab gave me some toys to take out their big guns. Does Ogarab have any other fancy gadgets we could use? Everything was deployed with the troops. Now he's busy securing the base, keeping the enemy away from his research. Don't worry though. I got everything I need to smash Valen's artillery. If we hit the enemy forces from behind, we buy the gravestone some time. Enemy troops broke through the lines. They're trying to take the gravestone. Simeon and I are close. We won't let them take the ship. Arkin and I are at the gravestone. Last time we met, you were in a coma. I awoke when I sensed Valen break her father's chains. And now I get to thank you for all you've done for me and for Arkin. It's time to repay our debt. Heads up! Got some uninvited guests. Can you and Arkin hold your positions? We can try. But without reinforcements... We can't lose the Gravestone. We're on our way. We couldn't have held out much longer alone. I should have known Valen would attack Odessen. Just like Voss, you gave us shelter. And now you're paying the price. I helped you because I needed allies to stand against Valen. We've chosen to stand with you, Commander. We will not let Odessen fall to her.
Walkers coming our way. Too many. Bet you're glad we installed those upgrades now. If the Eternal Fleet thought the Gravestone was trouble before, they're in for a nasty surprise. They still have the edge in numbers, but at least now we have a fighting chance. The Gravestone alone won't turn this battle. My sister's unleashing the full fury of the Eternal Empire on Odessin. Conquest isn't enough. She seeks to annihilate us. For her, this is personal. If we lure Valen down to the surface, I can end this battle with a single fight. That shouldn't be hard. My daughter is blinded by her bloodlust. I'm on the enemy flank, joined up with Sana Ray. But we could use a little more firepower. Lana, help Theron. I'm heading to the front lines. Valen needs to know exactly where to find me. You won't have to face her alone. Arkin and I will join you. Don't do anything foolish when she shows up. She's stronger than you now. Together, we can defeat her. I believe in you. As do I. My daughter must be stopped. At any cost. A gravestone has joined the battle, but our fleet numbers make victory inevitable. Burn Odessin, and bring me the ashes. I want them for my garden. Father's pet. I was just talking about you. I've been up and down the battlefield looking for you. I can't believe you're cowering on a ship. I hide from no one. Now that I've broken Father's chains, I could crush you in a second. But that's too easy. I will chew up your friends and grind your precious alliance into paste. When I finally hunt you down, you will beg me to end your suffering. You lost face when I crashed your party on Zakul. If you want to reclaim it, meet me in battle, and stop acting like a child. You'll regret this. My daughter has taken your bay. We should clear out as many enemy troops as possible before my sister arrives. Valen will be here soon. I want status updates. Fried those artillery guns as promised. I guess they weren't happy about it. They kinda got me pinned down. I'm gonna need a little help. That's not the only one in trouble. Enemy ambush cut us off. I'm the only one left. Position's about to be overrun. Yeah, well, I've got about two minutes before they squash me like a bug. Even you cannot save everyone, Outlander. By choosing who shall live, you also choose who shall die. Be ready for that burden. Vet, we're coming for you. I knew I could count on you. I'm not afraid to die. Just didn't think I'd go out like this. You're not dead yet, Torian. Keep fighting. After we help Vet, we'll come for you. I know how this ends. Just win the war. Don't let me die in vain. Let's move! 
Vet needs our help. Vet, are you hurt? Roughed up a bit, but I'll survive. Not going to lie, I started to wonder if you'd make it. I would have been here sooner, but Valen kept throwing troops in the way. So on top of being a ruthless, bloodthirsty dictator, she's also rude. No wonder she has no friends. What about Torian? Torian, do you copy? We're coming for you next. Wrong again, Outlander. I found your Mandalorian pet. Now he's all mine. You've got my attention? Good. That was the point. When the Outlander comes for you, Arkin and I will be at her side. I'm counting on it, Mother. You got what you wanted. I'm on Odessin. Now let's end this. You don't have the guts to face me in a fair fight. I've broken Father's chains. This fight will be anything but fair. I'm sending you a location. We meet there. Whoa. Feeling a bit lightheaded. I'll stay here and recover while you go smack Valen all the way back to Zakul. Finally! I was getting bored. And when I get bored, prisoners start losing limbs. It doesn't matter what happens to me, Commander. Just take her down! <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak to father. He doesn't always come when I call. Of course. You're just a tool at his disposal. Pathetic. What did father ever see in you? Did he really think you could steal my throne? You are not worthy of the throne. You are not fit. To rule the Eternal Empire. I'm more deserving than your new puppet. She can't even protect her own people. Now I'm going to make you suffer before you die! <laughs> Funny. I was just thinking the same thing. It must be Father's influence. She won't stop until all your allies lie dead at her feet. You know what you must do. Even Valkorian is too scared to face me, now that my chains are broken. We aren't afraid. Enough? Blood has been spilled. This has to stop. Um, do you have any last words before I end this pitiful family reunion? I'm done talking! Fight well. My full power has been unleashed. For a puppet, you fight well. Once you fall, Odessin will burn. Oh, my God. 
Once you fall, Odessin will burn. is a threat. Oh, Father, you know me so well. I have no more power over Valen. Only you are strong enough to stop this. The Eternal Throne is mine! Forget the throne! Forget everything! The Eternal Fleet just retreated! Every single ship. Gone. Enemy lines have broken. It's a rout. They're surrendering by the thousands. My sister's rage was the only thing giving her troops the will to fight. Then it's over. We won. We won. I still can't believe Torian's gone. He was a soldier. Soldiers die during war. We can still honor his memory. It's the least we can do. We need to talk about my sister's death. I felt something when you struck her down. Like her life force flowed into you. This happened once before. When Valkorion died. Unlike my father, Valen didn't have the power to transfer his spirit to a new host. It's possible you simply absorbed her strength while her spirit was obliterated. I hope that's all it was. Are you saying Valen's not really dead? Or do you think Valkorion is up to something? I don't know. Something strange happened. And we both know my father can't be trusted. Be careful. Commander, urgent distress call coming in from Empress Asina. Drummond Cass is under attack. The Eternal Fleet is bombing us from orbit. We're dealing with our own crisis, Asina. You're on your own. This reaches far beyond the borders of the Sith Empire. The Republic is also under attack. I'm picking up urgent distress signals from Coruscant and the other core worlds. We know Valen didn't order this. The Gemini captains must have gone rogue. There's more. Emergency calls coming in from Zakul. The Eternal Fleet set up a blockade. They're bombing them into oblivion. Valkorion, what did you do? You caused this, not I. The Eternal Throne sits empty, leaderless. The fleet has reverted to its most primal function, extermination. 
Unchecked, they will destroy all life in the galaxy. There is only one way to stop them. Claim the Eternal Throne and seize your destiny. Ready the Gravestone. We're going to Zakul. Commander, what's wrong? The visions are getting stronger. Either I hate something bad, or my bond with Valkorion's growing deeper by the minute. He may be toying with you. Or perhaps you glimpsed something he didn't want you to see. Whatever he pulls, I'll be ready. Did you bring the Holocron? I've been studying it since we escaped Mathema. The relic's function remains a mystery, but its power is undeniable. If it can protect you from Valkorion. Do you actually believe that dusty trinket can harm me? I think it scares you for a reason. My only fear is that you will lose sight of our goal. Seek the Eternal Throne. We have sacrificed too much to turn on each other now. I... I felt his presence. How can you stand it? I'd plug my ears, but Valkorion would still find a way to rant and rave. We'll rid you of him soon enough. Commander to the bridge. Your crew's ready. It's time. At last. The time has come to take the Eternal Throne. Empress Valen has fallen. In her absence, the Eternal Fleet rampages across known space, threatening to wipe out all life in the galaxy. There's only one way to stop them. We must seize the throne. Problem is, those warships are blockading Zakul and bombing the city to rubble. The fleet will stop at nothing to protect the throne. No ship can break their blockade, not even to flee for safety. This ship's fortified with upgrades from Iocath. If any vessel can punch through, we can. If I reroute our power to shields, we might crack that blockade. Then it's settled. When do we reach Zakul? Now! Shields up. It's been nice knowing you, Commander. Break that blockade. Everyone, to your battle. 
battle stations for the Alliance. We will join your fight, Commander. I started this war. Now, I'll help you end it. Valkorion knows your weaknesses. He may try to exploit them. And destroy you. If Father shows himself, we'll be ready. For Zakul. For the Alliance! A favorite tactic among the Knights of Zakul. When I was in charge, the Knights had better aim. Bullseye. Indozal reporting for duty. Full of vigor and raring to serve the Alliance. Though that splash shot may have dislocated my shoulder. Find a medic and patch yourself up. We can't have you fainting in the middle of my coronation party. Not to worry. Give me a sling and a nightcap and I'll be right as rain. As for the rebels, I have good news. My compatriots borrowed artillery from the local militia. They'll begin raining fire any moment now, I'm sure of it. The sooner they open fire, the sooner we breach the tower and take the throne. They're targeting your foes as we speak. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must plan for your ascension to the throne. It will be my grandest party yet. Victory is almost upon us, but you ignore a closer threat. A disgraced former emperor, and his mother, a knight turned traitor. Strike down my family, and you will face no competition for the throne. One more interruption, and I'll give Arkin the throne just to spite you. You would not dare. The cool bird. The Republic suffers. And the Sith Empire crumbles. Only you can pacify the throne and end this cycle of violence. My throne. I took my brother's life here, provoked Valen's anger, abandoned the people of Zakul. I am not 
fit to rule. I never was. Your hands are stained with the blood of millions. Apologizing won't bring them back to life. All I can do is admit my crimes. And ensure that our next ruler is stronger. Claim the throne, Commander. You've earned it. fleet has gone quiet. You did it, Commander. Well done. After years of strife, you have become Empress of Zakul, Commander of the fleet, and heir to the Eternal Throne. Careful, Valkorion. I have the Holocron, and I'm not afraid to use it. Your relic is useless. No! Stop, father! I once offered you mercy in this very room, but you refused to bow. Now, you have no choice. I'm ready for whatever you're... Command my emperor. You're an exemplary pawn. One I forged into a vessel of supreme power, worthy of preserving my spirit. Now I take your body as my own and rule once more as the immortal emperor. I'm going to an Joy destroying you, Valkorion! Silence! Wake up! Wake up! What happened? Who am I? You're the Alliance Commander. Once known as the Hero of Titan and Conqueror of the Sith Emperor. You wear Valkorian skin, but you're the same person you always were. Valkorion's trying to break me. He already broke you. Valkorion shattered your mind and tossed you into the abyss of your psyche. He thinks you're dead, but you survived by assuming his form. Find the Holocron. Save yourself. Take the Holocron. Save yourself.
The Outlander's alive. Father conquered her mind, but she's fighting back. Look out! You persist. Impressive. My head's not a halfway house for immortal Sith. But I guess you found that out the hard way. An oversight I will not repeat. When you struck down Valen, I consumed her essence. Her spirit is now mine to command. Let me go or I'll chop you into little pieces. Submit, my child. As you wish. I knew you were up to something the second I absorbed Valen's spirit. Yet you still play right into my hands. family members waiting in the wings. Enough! I killed you once, father. Now, my offspring will share the pleasure. Annihilate them!
Take the Holocron Arkan. The Outlander needs you. Father is too strong. You've proven yourself stronger. Show him the man you've become. Valen, strike down the brother who betrayed you, and the outlander who stole your life away! Father makes a good point, for once. She's your sister. Make her listen to reason. Valen, remember when we were children, playing with Vexen? Sparring in the shadow of the eternal fleet. Running away and living in the swamps for a month. All that freedom stolen when Father locked you in Anathema. He will cage you again unless you join us. I won't be caged. Not again, not ever! <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you squirm. Father. You have won over my children. Now you will all be consumed by eternity! Do you really think you can face the full power of the Eternal Emperor?
lifetimes putting people in cages. Here's yours. Impossible! Kneel, father! Kneel before the dragon of the coal! It's over. Let go. S 
Stadia. You've turned your back on this family for the last time. I am the Immortal Emperor. You cannot defeat me. The end is almost here. What do you have to say for yourself? Before I graced you with my presence, you were nothing but motes of filth drowning in the chaos of the void. And you, a lone Jedi, hounding me without aim or purpose. I forged you into a being worthy of the Eternal Throne. Without me, you are nothing. Thus ends the reign of the Immortal Emperor. It's over. You defeated Valkorion. Once and for all. Valkorion's risen from the grave more times than I can count. Are we sure he won't return again? I no longer feel my father's presence. We will never see him again. Now we can look to the future. I've opened a system-wide hollow channel. The galaxy's ready to meet the new Empress. I'm no empress. People of the galaxy, the war is over. The Eternal Fleet is pacified. Today marks the end of the Eternal Empire. The people of Sakul are now free to rule themselves. I will transform the throne into a beacon of peace dedicated to helping Zakul recover from a war that nearly destroyed us all. We faced the full might of the Eternal Fleet, watched cities fall, friends die. We have suffered for the last time. The Eternal Fleet will now serve as a benevolent armada, delivering supplies, transporting refugees, and healing the damage this war inflicted. We must now look forward, beyond our homes, to the stars that surround us. This will be our new frontier, as we work together to rebuild the galaxy. By trusting in each other, we begin a new era in galactic history. The Age of the Eternal Alliance! You're missing the party.
You're missing the party. Funny, I thought you passed out on the dance floor. I got a second wind. Let me guess. You saw the intelligence reports. The Republic's preparing for war. And the Sith Empire's not far behind. The Eternal Alliance is only hours old, but already I sense dark forces massing against us. Uprisings sparking across the galaxy. We will defeat them. Tomorrow. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs>